Hey everybody, welcome back. So as more and more parts arrive for my, let me turn the light on here. There we go. As more and more parts arrive for my Jeep dashboard heater box restoration project, I'm still waiting on the heater core and the cables, but while that's waiting, some interesting things have arrived. And one thing I thought might be fun to play with together is this little Bluetooth stereo amplifier. And I couldn't find a whole lot of information about these other than what it does. But this is a ZK502L. Um, 5 to 24 volts. And the idea is you use this little power cord. You plug it into 12 volts of power. You um, can hook four speakers up to it. And then it should connect to your phone and allow you to play through it. So... Before I make a box for it and a mount and all that stuff and get it put in and find out it sucks, let's plug it in and test it. I got my new fuel and, and voltmeter gauges from Crown, the Crown Automotive ones, and I have to be honest, they're nicer than I thought they were going to be. They're made in America. Yes, the, the bodies are plastic, but they look nice, and I've tested them, and they seem to work really good. So I'm just saying that because if I said anything nasty about Crown Automotive in one of my previous videos, I want to give a partial retraction to that. Here's my new club box that I that I printed. Yes, I ran out of the black filament. I knew I was going to. It's PLA plus. I made it three millimeter wall thickness, and I'm really starting to. Um, I'm really starting to come to like PLA plus more and more and more. It's um, it's some pretty tough stuff. But right now, I'm going to clear some space out. I've got my little poor man's power supply. I've got the speakers, I'm going to get some wiring, and one thing I want to do is I want to test on this to make sure that it's wired correctly. Because I've been burnt by stuff from China before where they, China thinks positive is black and, and negative is red, so before I plug it into power and blow it up, I'm going to get my meter out and test that. So let me clear some space out, let me get some wires set up. And let me get the speakers out and let's test this little Bluetooth thing and let's see if it works. Okay, I think I'm ready to test on this a little bit. I got speaker wires on the speakers. I checked the power plug. It is actually wired correctly, so I have to take a partial retraction on that. Good job, China. Red is supposed to be positive. And um, I got this Bluetooth thing out. I got my stereo ready to go. Let's... Um, Let's give it a go. So, let me see what I got the voltage set to on my 13.5. Perfect, since that's about what the car's alternator puts out. Let's, um, let's hook it up to the speakers first. So, and if I said before that this handles four speakers, I'm incorrect. Four speaker wires, plus and minus for each speaker. So, two speakers, four speaker wires. Let's um, get it connected. And I've got yellow for positive and red for negative because I couldn't find any red wiring and whatever. So yeah, you know what, at least it's not the same color. And at least the black is the negative, right? So I'm not that bad. So left positive, that's on the left for right now. So left positive, we'll tighten that down. Left negative is here. Whoops, I pulled that right off the speaker, didn't I? I'll have to solder that back on. I didn't do a very good job soldering that. But that's okay. We'll fix that. And that's really bad because I plan on those wires staying on. Those are not temporary. But um, right negative. They actually even did that right, whoever designed this board. The two negatives are next to each other, and the two positives are on the outboard side. I don't know whether that's right or wrong, but that's always the way I have liked it. And then right positive on the far outboard. That makes it less likely for an idiot like me to accidentally, um, accidentally, god darn it, I didn't get that in right either. Get in there. Let's try that again. I'm not a big fan of these little clamp down things. Um, I may put some of my little boots, boot lace ends on the wires. 
before I put it in the cart. We'll see. Like I say, I'm not a big fan of these. I know some of you guys think they're great. I don't really like them. Um, let, me let me solder that back on real quick. My soldering gun is still here. I'm out in the garage, so I'm using the pistol grip soldering iron. And this is an old, old weller, probably 50 years old. I don't know. It works really good. It's built like a tank, and that's one of the reasons why I like it. Let me get my wire back up here. Which one are you? Which one pulled out? It's hiding. There it is right there. And we'll just kind of tag that back in. That just doesn't want to stay there, does it? Let me get my solder. We'll get a little bit more solder on there. That ain't going anywhere. And I'll check all the others before it goes in. But let's test on this a bit. So, I'm going to plug this guy in. And I definitely put some black tape on the connectors there so I don't... God darn it all, they're coming off too. I hate these kind of alligator, these particular kind of alligator clamps. I used them because they were the right price, meaning free. And, um, let's see if we can get this in there. Oh, it's got a little blue light on it. Sweet. Oh, I think my phone found it. Something found it. And hey, I didn't hear some Chinese girl saying, Bluetooth mode. Thank God. That's really irritating, isn't it? So, phone, we're going to go to Bluetooth. And I wonder what this thing is called. It's not the Charge 3, it's not the Pebble, it's not the Jam Party, it's not OBD2, and it's not the KM28. And this came with zero instructions, by the way. Oh, I bet it's BT Was High. Is that the name on the thing? Was High? No, WHDTS here. Okay, I bet that's it though. Let's connect to it and see what happens. Pair. Hey, I bet that's it. I'm getting sound out of it. Let's um let's go to YouTube and let's listen to one of my own videos. No, 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 let's not. Let's um well there's Derek at Vice Grip Garage. He's always fun to listen to. But um let's listen to music. How about Bob Seeger? No, let's not listen to Bob Seeger. Let's listen to, I don't know, let's just put in rock and roll. Let's put, you know what, let's put in 60s rock. 60s rock. 60s rock music. How about that? Vietnam War music. There you go. Wow, that actually sounds pretty good. I think we need a little bit of bass. I think that um, I think that sounded better <laughs> down onto the box. Let's try that. That will get us a little bass. See what happens if we turn it off and back on. Nothing. Well, that's nice. I was afraid I'd lose Bluetooth connection to it if I turned it off and back on. Let's unplug it and replug it. I mean, like we just got out of the Jeep because I'm not going to leave it hot all the time. And let's see what happens if we unplug it and replug it. Let's see if it reconnects right away. 
and let's go hit let's go hit play again okay and that's all a guy like me, me needs in his Jeep I don't really listen to music that much I mostly listen to news and talk radio and and other informational stuff podcasts and things like that so that actually makes me really happy that makes me feel good now I will print a little box with some mounting tabs on that to fit on the Jeep and I'll have that ready to go I don't even think I don't know my plan was just to leave it on and turned all the way up all the time and just use the phone so I'll have to think about that for a bit for you guys that are interested this also came with a little kit with a little kit for mounting it's a little top and bottom plate so you can kind of sort of make a, a mount for it it's got the standoffs and the screws and they even gave you some little probably totally worthless screwdriver I don't know about you guys but I got a box of these little cheapo Chinese screwdrivers that came with things they're really awful but anyway it's something I'm probably going to have to apologize for I'll probably find out that's a halfway decent screwdriver no no I won't <laughs> anyway um, again this was the WHDTS Bluetooth Audio Stereo Power Amplifier, made in China, of course. I will. I think I paid 12 bucks for this. I paid for it with my own money. Nobody sponsored this video. I will put. Um, I will put links to it below. They will be Amazon affiliate links. And um, yeah, this is also the called the ZK502L on the board. So. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This works out really well. So this is going to go in my dash along with my new glove box and my new instruments and the, um, the heater cables when they arrive. So I'll catch you guys the next time. Please like and subscribe and I will talk to you later. Grooving up slowly,